The Harrier jump jet, developed in the 1960s by British manufacturer Hawker Sidley, was a remarkable breakthrough in aviation technology. Its ability to take off and land vertically without the need for a traditional runway made it a versatile aircraft suitable for various military operations. But why did they stop using it? Let's delve into the reasons behind its discontinuation. The development of the Harrier jump jet can be traced back to the post, World War II era when the concept of VTOL aircraft began to emerge. The Harrier went through several iterations, with the first prototype flying in 1960. It was subsequently adopted by the British Royal Air Force, RAF, and the United States Marine Corps, USMC. The Harrier jump jet's VTOL capability was made possible by its innovative engine design and swiveling nozzles. By redirecting the engine thrust downward, the Harrier could lift off vertically. This feature allowed it to operate from unprepared surfaces, such as grass fields or roadways, expanding its operational flexibility. The F-35B Lightning II, a fifth-generation stealth fighter, emerged as the successor to the Harrier jump jet. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the F-35B incorporates advanced technologies and capabilities that surpass those of the Harrier. It combines stealth, advanced sensor systems, and improved performance to meet the evolving demands of modern warfare. Compared to the Harrier, the F-35B offers increased range, speed, and payload capacity. It also has superior situational awareness and the ability to penetrate enemy defenses more effectively. The F-35B's VTOL capability, although different in design from the Harrier, still allows for vertical takeoff and landing operations, ensuring continuity in the tactical advantages provided by VTOL aircraft. Mm -hmm.